Hello everyone and welcome back to Starbound. My name's Tech Corsa and today I'm going to be making a quick block for block tutorial of this build but first let me demonstrate it. So you have your little timer here on the side with the switch to pause it. Or sorry it was already paused. You throw the switch down it pauses it and puts your little digital pet to sleep. When it's flipped up, the timer can continue. And let's force it to advance. There we go. And then once the timer fills up, it makes the happiness meter go down. And then if it gets down too far, your pet starts getting unhappy. And if it drops down too far, you get an alert from these handy dandy alarm lights. And if you go down too far, your pet unfortunately does die. But you can revive it just by pushing your the button right here beside the little happiness meter. Now this one isn't quite as complex as the one that I showcased in my first digital pet video but the wiring behind it is simple enough that you could expand on it if you wanted to but anyways all of that being said let's get started um, I have all of the circuitry laid out already and here is your part list there are 21 persistent switches 33 and switches 66 OR switches, 24 NOT switches, 4 X OR switches, 4 half second timers, 15 countdown timers, 1 delay gate, 17 small wall switches, 5 buttons, 2 alert lights, and 74 wall lights. So I already have everything laid out. We're just going to walk through how to wire everything up. Um, if you want a more detailed tutorial about why I have everything set up the way I do and how it all works, I will put a card in the upper right for the long form version of this video. So that all being said, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off with the 60 second timer, which is this array of 12 countdown timers. So we're going to hook it up to the switch, and then we just wire them in sequence around to the NOT gate. And then we want to hook the knot gate into the first one and the last one. Then we're going to set up this next part. We hook this knot gate into this top OR gate. The OR gate then hooks into this knot switch, into this AND gate, and then you hook the knot switch into the bottom of the AND gate, the AND gate into this half second timer, the half second timer into this OR gate. Now you want to make sure that this switch is turned on. You want to wire it into the top of this AND gate, and then the AND gate into the top of the persistent switch, then the persistent switch into the top of the next AND gate, and also the OR gate that's beside it. Now then you want to take this OR gate that you hook the timer into and hook it into the bottom of the AND switches, and then the AND switch connects into the next persistent switch, and you continue this all the way down. So let me do that really quick. All right, so all of that is now hooked up. So I need to hook this persistent switch into this OR gate, or sorry, this delay gate. The delay gate goes into this OR gate, and this OR gate hooks into the bottom of all of the persistent switches to reset them. So let me hook those up. This will take just a second. All right, and you're probably wondering what these buttons here and down here on the bottom do. They are to manually advance through the 
persistent switches to make sure that the that it is advancing correctly and it will reset correctly. So let's go ahead and cycle through, make sure everything is lighting up correctly. Let's see two more. So this should be the next to last one. And then this one should reset everything. And there we go. That works as intended. So now we want to take the last OR gate and we want to hook that into this OR gate here. And then we'll hook this OR gate into the NOT switch and the top of this AND gate, the NOT switch into the bottom of the AND gate, the AND gate into the timer, and then the timer up into this OR gate. Then this OR gate will hook into the bottom of the AND gate and the persistent switch, which is turned on, hooks into the top. Then this AND gate hooks into the top of the persistent switch. The output of the persistent switch hooks into the top of the next AND gate. The first OR gate over here hooks into the bottom of the AND gate and the top or the output of the AND gate hooks into the top of the next persistent switch and you continue this all the way through. All right, now that that's all done, you hook this button into the bottom of this OR switch and we make sure that it advances correctly. And the last one. Okay, so now we know that that's advancing correctly. We can hook this up into the output, which are these NOT switches. Let's do that really quick. All right, and next up is going to be the circuit here. So we want to take this button that's beside our status bar. We want to hook it into this OR switch. We'll also hook this other button into the OR switch while we're at it. We'll hook the OR switch into the top of the persistent switch, the output of the persistent switch into the NOT gate, the NOT gate into the timer, or countdown timer, the countdown timer into the NOT switch, the NOT switch into the bottom of the persistent switch, then we'll take the output of the persistent switch into the timer, then we'll take the output of the timer into this OR gate, we'll also take this button into that OR gate as well. Then we'll take the output of the OR gate, put it into the not, top of the NOT switch and the top of the AND gate. Take the NOT switch, put it into the bottom of the AND gate, put the AND gate into the timer, and the timer into this OR switch. Then we want to put the OR switch into the bottom of this AND gate along with the switch that is turned on. So now we want to take this AND gate and put it into the bottom of this persistent switch. And then we want to take the NOT gate that's above that persistent switch, take the output of it and put it into the top of the AND gate. Then we connect the OR gate into the bottom of that AND gate. And we plug that AND gate into the bottom of the next persistent switch. And we repeat this. So NOT gate above the persistent switch we just plugged in to the top of the AND gate, OR switch to the bottom of the AND gate, output of the AND gate into the next persistent switch, and we will continue in this fashion. All right, so all of that is now hooked up. Let me adjust the camera so we can see it. And as we hit this button, it should start advancing in the opposite direction as the other one, one at a time. There we go, that goes one at a time. And then this one should go two at a time one and two so that's working correctly let's get it all the way back to full all right there we go so next up we want to start wiring up for the face so first off what we want to do is we want to hook these NOT gates into these OR switches. So we want to take the far right NOT gate, 
hook it up into the ore switch, then we'll take every other one. So eight, six, four, and two. And while we're at it, we will take number 10, hook it into this ore gate, and number one into this ore gate. And this is for controlling the eyes. And while we're at it, we'll grab this persistent switch, or sorry, not persistent switch, regular switch, and pull it into this ore gate. All right, so now what we're gonna do, since we have all of our inputs lined up, we're going to start on this one. So we'll take the output of the OR gate, put it into the OR gate right above it, and we'll do this with all five of these. Then we'll take these OR gates, these bottom four OR gates, and hook them into the bottom node of the X OR gate on top of them. And then we'll take the X OR gate and hook them into the bottom node of the OR gates above them. And this OR gate on the end as well. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the output of the X OR gate and hook it into all X OR gates to its right. So this one hooks up to just the first one. This one hooks up to those two. This one hooks up to those three and this OR gate hooks into all four. And now we want to hook these OR gates into the ones up here on the top. So these persistent switches are op or sorry, these regular switches are optional. However, they will allow you to check your work while you are working on the build. It'll allow you to toggle these on and off so you can see how they are hooked up. I will show you the results of these after I am finished wiring them up. Alright, so I'm going to turn wiring mode off so we can check our work. So as you can see, I did miss one, so let's go ahead and rewire that. All right, the next one, the slightly happy face. The next one, the completely fat face. And again, let's see, that is the fifth one. Should be that one. There we go. Slightly sad face. There we go. And last one, the very sad face. And there we go. Now, why is... Oh. That's unexpected. So these are wired backwards. That is my mistake. So these wires should be going across to the opposite, like this, instead of directly above them. That is my mistake. Let me reconnect these wires and let me go ahead and push this button to get it back to the very happy face. Alright so next up we are going to be hooking up the eyes. Let us hook up the outputs for the eyes first. Alright, so the top eye, we want to be the very happy eye.
The next eye is going to be the regular open eye. And I will be showing these patterns after I am done wiring them, just like before. Next eye is going to be the closed eye. And the last eye is going to be the X. Okay, let's turn off wiring. So you have the X, the closed eye, the regular open eye, and the very happy eye. Now let me repeat this pattern with the other set of eyes. Just a quick tip, you should probably start with the right eye if you have your wiring set up like mine. You should be starting with the right eye because the wires cover up the right eye when you start with the left one. Okay, so I should have everything wired up. Let's see if everything came out correctly. And it did. Alright, so now it's time to wire up the eyes. So first off we have our... So we'll start off with the dead eye, which is going to be this one. Or this is going to be the input for the dead eye, rather. So we take this one and we plug it into the first OR gate. Yes, we'll plug it into the first OR gate on this bottom one. Hook the OR gate into the next one over, then hook it into the NOT gate, and then over into this OR gate, and then hook this OR gate into the bottom two eye spots where the X is located. Okay, this next one is the sleeping eye, which is going to come from this input. So we want to flip that into a NOT gate. Plug the NOT gate into the OR gate. Plug the OR gate into the OR gate beside it. Flip it into the NOT gate. NOT gate into the OR gate. And this last OR gate goes into the bottom of the third eye pattern. Alright, so the next one up is going to be our um, regular eye. So for this we want to hook the OR gate into the top of both of these OR gates. Then we want to hook the second OR gate into the countdown timer, the countdown timer into the NOT gate, the NOT gate back into the countdown timer, as well as the OR gate beside it, and the OR gate up top, and then we hook this OR gate into the NOT gate beside it, and this NOT gate into the OR gate. Now this one hooks into the second OR gate up here, and this one on the bottom hooks into the closed eye, so the third one. And then the last one is going to be wired just the same. So OR gate into OR gate, OR gate into the five, or into the countdown timer, the countdown timer into the NOT gate, NOT gate back into the countdown timer, into the OR gate, into the OR gate up top, then that OR gate into the NOT gate, over into the OR gate, and we also want to hook this OR gate into the first one, and then we want to come down here. Oops, let's wire that up. And then hook this NOT gate. So this is to control which one of these eyes show. Sorry, let me finish this part first. So we hook this top one into the top OR gate and then we hook this bottom one into the third OR gate. Now we need to control which ones show when. So if the dead eyes are active we do not want the open eyes or the 
happy eyes to be showing and we do not want the wait is this one the dead eyes oh I'm sorry that is the sleeping eyes so the dead eyes we don't want the sleeping eyes we do not want the open eyes or the happy eyes we only want this one showing so then you do the same thing with the sleeping eyes so the eyes are not open and then last but not least we want well this one is on so we want that to go into the top or gate and this one to go into the second one and that should be everything finished wiring wise there's just a couple of more things that you need to wire up the first being these not gates into the status display which are going to be these 10 lights across the bottom so just hook that up really quick okay so the next part is going to be the timer being hooked up to this timing device or the timing device being hooked up to the timing display so we want to take this Let's see which OR gate is it this one so we want to take this OR gate here and tie it into the one on the bottom and we're just going to move them up crossing each other all the way up to the top and the last one all right so what we should see is the first minute is filled here first minute is filled here as it advances using this button it should go up and we'll get it up to nine and then we'll let this timer count down and let it advance to ten and there we go uh oh Wait. Had some wires crossed there, that's okay. There we go. So now two blips are properly showing. So when we hit this, should advance those two, and we should get the very happy face now we want to wire up the alarms to go off whenever we get under let's see when we have three lights lit up so let's put it on the fourth so we'll grab from so Either you can add in another OR switch or pull directly from the resistant switch. I would recommend putting in an OR switch so you can see where it's coming from. And then we'll plug that directly into the alarms. So now. Let's just get it down so it's under that. And one more. So when it hits three, we're gonna get the sad face, the super sad face. I have a feeling that that is wired wrong. No, that is correct. So we'll get the super sad face and the alarms will go off. And now let's reset this. Reset my camera. And right now all I'm doing is testing it to make sure that everything is working all right. And it looks like it is. Okay, so before we close out the video, there's a couple of changes that I need to make. So as you can see, dead eyes no mouth so what we're gonna do to fix that 
So we're going to pop off that last ore gate and replace it with a switch. And then we're going to hook the switch up into where that ore gate was hooked into and turn it on so that no matter what this last one will be on. So when we advance, get a little bit past that, there we go. So it returns back to the normal phase. Let's see, and there was also one other thing. I noticed that this, let me turn off that. So the sleeping eyes was not hooked up to the appropriate ore gate. So now when you flip the switch, the eyes should shut, denoting that it's asleep and this timer is paused. And that is it for this build. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I do run a daily Let's Build or Starbound Let's Build. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, whatever it is, leave it in the comment section down below. If you want to see the full tutorial of this where I explain everything, the card will be in the top right of the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching and have yourselves a very good day.